today we're gonna go ashore, figure out our SIM card situation, try to upload some videos, and uh, explore while we're here on Bahama Island, Grand Bahama. So, tomorrow we're gonna set sail for the 200 mile trek to the Exumas, which we hear are amazing, and we've got some friends down there, so we're excited to get going, but figured we might as well utilize this time we have here to get some chores done. So where are we going? We're going into town. We're going to get some SIM cards, some lunch, taste the Bahamian cuisine, and uh, just get our land legs back. It's been a while. We wanted to stop by the other beach. Like, so we just walking right. along and uh, hold up the holding stuff. The guy pulled up and was like, hey, hey we're right. like, sure, we're we'll right in town. <laughs> Monday through, today's Friday, right? 9 a.m. Yeah. to 6 p.m. Yeah, it's 1.45. So we got to the place to get a SIM card for our phones, and the sign says that they're open every day from like this hour to that hour, except and they're not there today. They're not there. And we asked the person next door, and they're like, yeah, sometimes, sometimes they come they in. Sometimes they just don't come in. Yeah, so island time. How do you yeah. get them out of the shell? How you doing? Oh, How you doing? Hi. <laughs> it's just the different kinds of um, speaking of publication. Okay. Uh, but it's all the same thing, understand it. Right on. Okay, yeah, let me show you what's oh, Wow, look at that. I'm just curious how you get these guys out. Let me show you that minute. And that whole beach is on shells. What do they call you? Hold on. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going I'm to give me my, I'm give my name, my mother, give me um, what they call me. Okay. Ali. Ali? Yes, sir. But my real name, along with Ali, is Alfred Grant. Alfred Grant? Right. Okay. Now, down here I name myself. I always name myself to a different stage of years, months. Yeah. What do you call me now? I name myself Down Pack. Down Pack? Down Pack. You know what I mean? Down Pack. When I finish doing what I'm doing for my people or myself, it's down packed. That means it's good to go. All right. <laughs> I'm on showtime now. Yeah. yeah I want to is... say I'm so excited to see this. All right. Now watch it. You just start off this. Just start off this. This. This, this, this way. Watch me. Okay. You know these automatic starfish. Yes. It comes in fours, six, and five. Okay. I just come call the six today. They they very rare. Six and four are very rare. Okay. And I'm see a starfish, any place in the water, they always five. Five. Come call the six, hey. It's like you know on the four, that's like hey, antique. Cool. Down back, down back. Action, gotta put a hole in it. The right place. Okay. Not here, not there, not there. Right there. Okay. Take a knife. Yeah. Some people use the shower part. I start up doing the shower part, I get a lane, the back part is better. The back part. Oh. Where, I'm, where, where I put the hole, I'm, where, what I'm losing up is where the end of the cong attached to to the bottom here. So you get your knife, I use the back pad, you get underneath it, you make your move, uh -huh. and that's come got to move. Oh my gosh! Yes. Wow! When you do it right, when you do it right, you get, you see if it is attached, uh -huh. that the hole. Yeah. You see right on the end there? Yeah. yeah. This is way, right here, be attached. Oh! And when you get a knife, and you slip it across, yeah. you gotta come. You do it the right way, you get all of that you stuff. You get the whole thing. This here, uh -huh. it will be called the conch slop. Better known 
We use that, you see, comb for comb bait. Okay. This is comb guts, but that's the slop. She can't eat that. No. That's the slop we use yeah. for bait. Oh! Yeah. You can see it? <gasps> oh my gosh. That's his mouth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You hear that? Uh-huh. We call this the conch horn. It's the horn? But actually it's a conch toe. Okay. Because he walks with that. Okay. Feel me? Yeah. Right, cut it off. Cut it off. Now we're going to take his jacket off. My name is White Shirt. We call that the conch skin. Okay. We eat that also. You can okay. cut it up like salad or burlet, a salad or whatever. All is gonna eat. Hey. Hi. You yeah. want more of it? All gonna eat. This can eat also. Yeah. Yeah. Come red. This. That white deal got different taste. That got different taste, and that got different different taste. Okay. So this is what you're putting in your salad. Right. Oh, sweet. Okay. And guess what? You don't need that. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Ceviche. You take that back. Yeah. You just eat this? Oh, oh my god. Go ahead, go ahead. That's good. That's good. That's good, man. That one has like a crunchier. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get that. Let me see that. <laughs> it's also going to eat. Oh, that's actually really good. We call that the pizza. What is it called? You eat that? Uh, yeah. That's oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Alright. Tell Trudeau, man. I ain't done no shit. Did someone record this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. looks like some yeah. sort of fancy gill or something. Yeah. <laughs> You're braver than I am. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Down pack. <laughs> yeah. Let's see my Thank friend. you. Down yeah. pack. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Y'all be cool now. Very yeah, nice to meet you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Cool Let's now. see my friend. Have a good one. Want <laughs> some? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, it tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of... It's so good. Um, what's it called? Um, oyster, not oysters, um... Mussels, no, the round ones, little... It's a little like mussels. No. Gosh, okay. Scallops? Scallops, thank mm, you. It is, yeah. it they is. They remind me of scallops. scallops. They're just more crunchy. Good. on the bay we were told that this has some good uh, local eats so we're gonna get some food here pack our bellies our fish fingers so it's really hard to get Wi-Fi we didn't get a sim card uh, we're trying to get in contact with our friends and family so they've got Wi-Fi here and they've got Wi-Fi where we came in Backyard bocce, actually Bahamian bocce, I would call this. Coconuts are our bocce balls. Uh, <laughs> the bole it will be the treat. Bole. Uh, ladies it's first. So far, I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> Very much. You're first again. What? No, I feel like I'm No, good. because I, I'm further. I can choose that. Fine. The option. Kirby steps up to the plate. He swings. And he releases! And it's closer! Nice that was a nice shot, nice roll. Please right. don't hit me. Okay. Challenging, challenging the victor. How did, you, how did you feel about your competition? Did they measure up? Careful what you say. One of those is your wife, by the way. <laughs> how, did you, how does it feel to lose twice? Well... I've been training for a few years now, and uh, so far he's the best competition I've had. 
I, I think that if I had had one more coconut, I could have taken him down. But just today was not my day. It happens to the best competitors. Now, Herb here, were you uh, putting rum in those coconuts earlier, I think, uh, while you are getting so strong on that throw there? Well, honestly, being from Puerto Rico, like, coconuts are what you do. You throw them here, you throw them there. It's what you do. But you don't look Puerto Rican. Can you explain that? <laughs> I am the whitest Puerto Rican you will see. <laughs> What's up? The uh, lock got stuck down here. Oh. Made it back to the boat. The rain's just starting now, so we're in, we're dry. The boat's a little warm, so we're sitting outside. <laughs> Today we are picking up anchor and setting a course for the Exumas. It's a 200 mile trek. So it should take us about three days. We are getting the boat ready right now. We just ate breakfast and it's a beautiful day. There's a fantastic amount of wind. However, the inlet is super rough. It's vicious. It's vicious. Yeah, it's taken all our power to get out of here. This is the one downside. Well, there are a few. This is a downside to an electric motor. When we left, it was a wee bit rough because there was a heck of a lot of wind. And then we had the outgoing tide and incoming wind. It was quite choppy. But out here, the days just calmed down and it's just been the most beautiful day of sailing ever. So the water is just this deep, crisp blue. We're full sail. It's so peaceful and relaxing. We're on a nice broad reach, just taking it easy as we head towards the Exumas. So we got a long way to go yet. So the sun is setting and in a little bit we're gonna reef down for the night because it's something I do and that's totally unnecessary in this situation because it is so gorgeous out here. I don't think that we should reef down but Herbie's the captain. <laughs> and has our best interest at heart. Yes you do. Has our best interest at heart. <laughs> And it has our best interest at heart. It's coconut time. We got some coconuts before we left the island. Almost there. There you go. Ooh. Is there meat? Delicious. Oh. Mmm. Oh, this is a lot better than the other one. Yeah, it's green. Mm. It's good. It's so sweet. Is it supposed to be like gooey? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's good. It's not what I expected. Mm. Our practice here is at night we reef down to the trisail, which we call PJ because it's our boat's pajamas. So it's not a bad idea even though we're out in the middle of the ocean and everything looks gorgeous around us to reef down and just play it safe because you don't want a squall to come up in the middle of the night and then you wish you were reefed down. 
So, let's get reefing. Well, we've reefed down for the night. We put up our trisail, but we did keep up our jib because it's really light winds and we like moving. So. Do we? One would think we didn't. <laughs> In the meantime, check out the sunset. So we have uninterrupted sunset. And moon rise. Pretty cool. Been out here a couple hours on my watch and we're just kind of bobbing around. We're surrounded by cruise ships. So that's a thing. And it's pretty uneventful, which I guess is good. Maddie just finished her four hour watch, so now it's my turn to sit out here in the dark. So, thankfully we got a pretty full moon and a clear sky. So you can see the moonlight reflecting off all the waves, it's, it's really pretty. But the wind's kind of calm and we're moving along at one to two knots, so we're not really setting any records out here. We did change our course because some bad weather's coming, so instead of heading to Nassau, we're gonna head to uh, the Berry Islands, so we're gonna pull into the Stirrup Key and duck out some bad weather and then keep going after that. We only got one arm, you have to ask a friend to help, and hopefully it's a chick because they have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> Careful with the barbs though, dude. In your hands. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.